as of 2017, banks have about $355 billion lent to shipping companies. This matters because ships have about a 25 year lifespan. Um, so if you think about what do we have to achieve in 25 years, we have to be well on our way to decarbonization in 25 years. This creates challenges for decarbonization as well as risks for financiers. Climate transition risks are simple. They are just the financial implications of transitioning to a low carbon economy. So for example, in shipping, what we've actually seen through our cutting edge research with University College London is that if you're a ship owner and you're unprepared for some mechanism like a carbon price, uh, first you'll see an impact on your cash flow. So you're less competitive versus your peers or your competitor companies, so you make less money. Then you'll see an impact on your asset value, so your ships are worth less. Ultimately, that impacts your company. Your company will be less credit worthy and you'll be less able to pay back your loans to the banks that lend you money. In addition to this, we also see that going into the next decade, as countries begin to successfully implement the Paris Agreement, their demand for coal and oil will begin to decrease. The knock-on effect of that is simply that the ships that move those goods, like tankers and bulkers, will be in less demand. Meanwhile, the UN's International Maritime Organization, as well as the European Union, are working incredibly hard to regulate greenhouse gas emissions from international shipping. What this all means is that if you're a financier in the shipping industry today, and you finance a new build vessel, while that vessel might be delivered in 2020, you will have to pay back its loan throughout the 2020s and into the early 2030s. That creates some real challenges for you as you consider making that investment. It's not all about risk and bad news. Decarbonization is a huge opportunity. Those who can best understand decarbonization will ultimately position themselves to be the industry leaders over the coming decades. As a ship financier, you need to make sure that the loans that you've already made that sit in your portfolio, as well as future loans that you might make, are going to be competitive under a range of market as well as decarbonization scenarios. The way that you can do this is to work with your clients in a way that works for you to make sure that you carbon stress test the vessels and the companies that you lend to. Ultimately, that will deliver a win-win so that your clients will be able to support decarbonization while also repaying their loans successfully throughout the tenor of those loans.